Hey guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's After Effects tutorial video, we are going to see some other real world graphics. And today we are going to create a motion stretch or a speed effect in Adobe After Effects. Now this speed effect is very popular and you have seen uh, it in a lot of places. It is basically uh, showing that some object is moving at a very high speed by blurring its motion or stretching its motion that what we say in animation terms. So first of all, let us preview that what we are going to create today. So this is the kind of the motion stretch video that we are going to create. And here you can see that this uh, at some places like this one, this motion is blurred and it is looking as if it is moving at a very fast pace. So this is exactly the kind of effect that we are going to create today. And it is pretty simple to create. All you have to do is just follow a few steps and in 10 minutes you would be able to create this effect for yourself. So let's jump into our After Effects. First of all, you gotta create a new composition. Uh, so for that you can press Ctrl N and name it anything that you want. I'm naming it speed effect. Now make sure that you have to keep a frame rate of 29.97 frames per second for this particular animation. And the duration you can keep to a 20 seconds, but it would be less than that. Then hit OK. The next thing is that you have to get a video for yourself. And I have got this video. So once you have got your video, make sure to bring it to your composition uh, then this is my video and first of all let me show you that what my video contains And what I'm going to do now is just stretch it a little bit with a Y coordinate so that it fully covers my composition screen. Now you can just choose any video that you like or if you want I will share the download link of this particular video in the description below so that you can just uh, choose the same video. The next thing we are going to do is move to the very first frame and identify the parts where we are going to apply that speed effect. So if we just play our video once again then up till this part we are going to apply our speed effect so what you're going to do is just go to edit and select this split layer option now this part is uh, where we are going to apply our speed effect so just right click on it and rename it as speed one to signify that uh, yes i'm going to apply my speed effect onto this particular part Next, you can just uh, play your video. So this is going to be moving in a smooth animation. Okay, so this is the place where uh, up till now my video is going to be moving smooth. So I'm going to split it once again. For that, you can simply press Ctrl Shift D on your keyboard. And this I'm going to rename as Smooth 1. Now this part is going to be again moving with a very high speed up till this particular position so I'm just going to split my layer here and renaming my layer as speed 2 now this uh, part is going to be moving smoothly up till here and from here it's going to be again moving with the speed animation so rename this as smooth 2 
and uh, the rest of the animation is going to be moving with a high speed so it is going to be renamed as speed 3 so rename it as speed 3 now once you have uh, identified the parts of your clip uh, whether which part is going to be moving with a speed animation and whether it's going to be a smooth one the next thing you have to do is select all your parts where it is a speed animation together by pressing the control and selecting on that particular layer since i have got three speed layers so i have selected them all then right click here you will find an option of time so go to time stretch now in time stretch what we are going to do is just change the value of the stretch factor and we are going to keep this stretch factor at a value of 20 and press ok now as soon as you do that you can see that all of your layers duration has been compressed so what we are going to do is zoom in our timeline a little bit and adjust the uh, position of all these uh, animations so that they are perfectly aligned with one another just like this okay so now i have aligned all my layers and if you want you can just preview it from the very first frame to make sure that everything is going on smoothly This is going to be a speeded up process. That's our smooth layer. Okay, so there was a little glitch over here. And this is the reason why. So just make sure it, the second layer starts the moment the first layer ends just like this now once you're happy with it uh, what i'm going to do is go back to the very frame where this uh, animation is ending and press the letter n on my keyboard to make sure that this animation ends at that particular frame now what i'm going to do is uh, go to my speed one layer and then go to effects and presets and search for an effect called CC force motion blur. Now take it and apply it on your first speed layer. Now we are going to play with some of the values. So increase the value of motion blur samples to a maximum value of 255. Then we are going to increase the shutter angle as well. And if you want to see the effect, uh, then what you can do is just Play this video a little bit like this and change its resolution to a full so that you can uh, see your output in a high quality. And I'm going to increase the value of this shutter angle to around 1200. Uh, sometimes you have to wait for the output because uh, it's very uh, high quality and it needs some time for processing. So if you can just see it that then yes it is exactly the effect that I have wanted in my animation and it's what I have got. So by keeping a motion blur samples value at 255 and shutter angle at 1200 I have got this. Then what you got to do is just copy the CC force motion blur effect and apply it to the rest of your speed layers just paste it there and once you are happy what you can do is go to file uh, but before that make sure to just change the uh, resolution of your composition from full to auto so that uh, it doesn't take uh, very much time to process itself or you can just change it to a quarter then go to export and uh, select add to render queue now you can just render your effect so just click on render 
and it may take some time to render so you have to wait for that particular amount of time so now it's about to render and okay now it's rendered and if you want you can just preview it so this is our video and this is what we have created and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial so keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge for more such tutorials and till then goodbye